Got another scan tool to look at today. This one is the Innova 1000 CarScan Mobile. Let's open it up and take a look. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Innova just sent me the Innova 1000 CarScan Mobile. And this is basically a dongle that you can pair with your phone and plug it in to check your engine, basically to read and clear trouble codes, verify if you're ready for a smog check, read and clear ABS brake codes, check your battery or charging system, view live data stream, check your oil level or oil life, reset your maintenance light, read and clear SRS airbag codes. It will do an all system network scan, BMS battery reset, set initialization. This will read TPMS, tire pressure, and this will also read transmission temperature. That was something that I was really interested in. But let's open this up and get it paired with our phone on the Repair Solutions 2. I'm just using an iPhone. Okay, so it's got a little card here that we need to scan. That will take you to the Repair Solutions 2 app. I've already got the app downloaded on my phone and it is ready now to pair with the device. So you can see it's just a little dongle like this. It's really small, really compact. And I'm just gonna plug this into the OBD2 port in the vehicle, which is right down here. And then I'm just gonna turn the ignition on, but not start the vehicle. And it says it's searching for the scan tool. There it is right here. Dongle scan tool pairing to 1000. It's just doing it automatically. Success, your scan tool has been paired successfully. It's got a button here to view tutorials. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that and see where it takes us. There's lots of frequently asked questions getting started, a couple of tutorials that you could flip through here, which is pretty neat. But I'm gonna hit done and let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out without watching those tutorials. So check engine, engine codes and fixes. Let's just click that first. Cannot read VIN from your tool. Please select the connected vehicle or enter your VIN to continue. I'm gonna scan the VIN using the camera. I'm gonna jump outside and scan that real quick. And that worked perfectly. I was able to scan the VIN and there it is. It's a 2004 Toyota Tundra V8 4.7 liter. And it's asking me to select option. This is a double cab. So we'll hit that and then push continue. Okay, now it wants to know our odometer. And the reason for this is it says it will allow us to give more accurate fixes and vehicle maintenance updates. So let's hit 305, 514. Got a lot of miles on this Tundra. And it says discovering vehicle. Well, that was quick, that's done. Now it says no engine codes found, which is great. I don't have any codes active on my vehicle, but we can also do a custom scan or a full network scan. Here it's also saying maintenance items. It says that there are four maintenance items, 235 new bulletins, 49 new recalls, warranty details. I'm sure we're outside of warranty at this point. Vehicle history report and enhanced VIN decode. So let's take a look here at the maintenance items. I'm wondering what it is that it's suggesting that we need to do. So right here it says four items due at 310,000 miles. So because I put in my mileage at 305, 514, it's basically saying at 310, I'm gonna need to change the engine oil and filter, inspect the brake system, friction material, hydraulic system, measure brake linings, rotor thickness, run out, rotate tires, inspect wear, and adjust the tire pressure. That's just giving you some little reminders, which is good if you're just now learning how to work on vehicles. But here I'm gonna do a full network scan. I just wanna see the capability of this tool and see how that works. And it gives you a little bit of a countdown here, three seconds remaining. Yeah, here it says scanning engine control control module, oil life level, scanning transmission fluid temperature. I don't know if this truck actually has a sensor on that, so I'll be interested to know if it if it gives a readout for the transmission temperature. And I don't have tire pressure sensors, so I don't think that that will show up here either. Of course, it depends on your vehicle, what sensors you have. This is a 2004, it's a little bit older, maybe on a newer vehicle where you have more of those sensors, it's gonna give you some data or some information on that. Okay, so it says we do have two codes found after doing a whole system scan of eight modules. And let's go ahead and just click on this to get our results. So we do have an ABS control system malfunction, master cylinder pressure sensor, the C1223 and C1246. Most likely fix is to replace the ABS relay. Now it's also giving a part right here, the multi-purpose relay, part details. Go look at that, it says quantity one. The tool takes you right to Amazon where you can purchase that exact part that you need. Let's go back into the repair solutions. So it's also giving us some more information. Our battery status is charging very well because the car's on at 14.3. Transmission fluid temperature, 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I didn't even know if I had a sensor in this truck because it's a little bit older as far as the transmission fluid temperature, and we do. This is huge. A lot of scan tools do not read the transmission fluid temperature, so that's really great to know, especially like on a long, steep grade on a road trip. In our van, sometimes that transmission does get pretty hot. I would really love to know what the temperature is when running that on a, on a really 
hot day up a grade. It does give us the option to erase those codes. I'm not gonna do that until I dive into that a little bit more and see what's going on. But I'm gonna go back to home here. Now I already did the whole system scan and I already did the, uh, the read codes. We're not going to erase codes, but let's take a look at our live data so here we can select all or select each individual data PID. So this has got uh, several, but we've got the vehicle speed sensor, which we're parked, so we're not gonna get any data there. Engine RPM, we'll select that. And then we're gonna also select engine coolant temperature, mass airflow sensor, intake air temperature. Let's hit done. Showing our engine RPM right around 700 or just over 700. Engine coolant temperature, we're at 181. It's warmed up since I've been idling here for a minute. Mass airflow sensor, it's 0 0.737. Let's rev the engine just a little bit. And there you go, you see it jump now, it's 1.38. I'm gonna take my foot off the throttle again. You saw the RPMs jump up as well. And the intake air temperature is 73 degrees. Well, let's go back out of this. You can also record the live data and retrieve that recording. Here is our inspection monitors. This is what you wanna check before you go take your vehicle in for a smog check, which we do have in California. So this will tell us the inspection and monitor status and verify if we are ready to pass our smog inspection or not. So let's take a look here. This is showing everything that is completed, our misfire monitor, fuel system monitor, comprehensive component monitor, catalyst monitor, evaporator system monitor, oxygen sensor monitor, and oxygen sensor heater monitor. Looks like everything is complete. We click incomplete and it says no monitor items found. So everything is completed. That means this is ready for smog check. Let's go back. And then here we have service checks, which would be brake life, oil level, voltage. See, I don't think we have tire pressure sensors in this vehicle, so I'm just gonna click that just to check. And it's probably gonna say not available. Now here, it looks like there was a button down below. I could have selected that to scan all service check items, but I've already picked this one here. So there it is, see it says not available. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit scan all service check items. Probably should have pressed that button in the beginning, but now it's gonna go through and scan each one. And I'm sure some of these are gonna be not available because of the age of this truck and some of those sensors just were not on this truck so yeah sure enough so brake life not available oil level not available battery voltage 14.1 and transmission fluid temperature 100 degrees right now so here we also have service functions perform resets and relearns again here a lot of these are not going to apply to this 2004 toyota tundra but there are some things that you can do i don't even think we have an oil maintenance light in this truck battery reset that's something that you'll you'll need on newer vehicles as well but here it says we can do a battery test let's just try that. So it says parking brake is on, transmission is in park or neutral, inspect the battery for damage or corrosion, check electrolyte level on maintenance type battery, ignition key on, engine off. So let's turn the engine off and I'm going to hit continue. Now it says turn on the headlights. They're on. Let's hit continue. Now it does a little bit of a countdown. Now it says turn off the headlights. They're off. Hit continue. And it says start the engine. It must be started within 30 seconds. Started easily. Battery system pass. Now we can also test our alternator. Let's do that real quick. Parking brake on, transmission in park or neutral, start the engine and turn on the headlights. I'm gonna turn them on. And it says, do not perform this test on a smart alternator, hybrid, or electric vehicles. Now it says, increase the engine speed above 2000 RPM and hold it until the countdown reaches zero. So let's do that. Now it says, turn the headlights to off and return to idle. Alternator status, voltage, good. 14.03 volts, charging voltage is within specifications. Well, I'll tell you, that's a very easy to use tool. And of course, you know, we almost always have our phones with us. And so if you just carry that little dongle and keep it in your glove box, I mean, that is such a valuable tool to have with you and be able to diagnose your engine when you're out on the road. I mean, not only if you end up with a check engine light or something going on, you can at least read the code and find out if it's something that's really critical and you need to either pull over or be towed, or it could be a check engine light on for something that's pretty insignificant significant and you can at least you know drive the vehicle home but having that information is just huge that's a game changer so i love the idea that this is so small and portable and i plan on keeping this with me or keeping this in the vehicle i'll probably get a few more of these and keep one in each vehicle i would really love to have an obd2 scanner in every vehicle as you saw that's just simple plug and play you plug it in and it pairs to your phone right away now if you run into a problem or you need help just click this icon on the top right and you can see right here find a shop legal or support you can click support and click get help and it will take you right
right here to where you can email and get an answer within a few hours, or you can chat. There it says right now they're online. You can talk with their team in real time. This is based in Irvine, California, US-based support that can help you if you run into an issue. Also, all of the updates on this app are free. There's no subscription that you have to do. This is unlimited number of scans that you can do for any vehicle. You don't have to pay a subscription service to use this tool. Some of the tools do that where you have to pay or renew your service or they'd only last a year. This is unlimited. Once you buy this tool, it's yours. You plug it in and the updates on the app are unlimited and free. So I'm really happy that they sent it to me. Again, that's how small this tool is. It's just a little dongle that plugs into your vehicle. And you can see though right here on the side, it does have the QR code printed right there so that you can scan that and download the app. You know, if you lose the card or lose that box, if you just have this with you on the road and your smartphone, you should be good to go. You should be able to diagnose your vehicle, find out what's going on. That's pretty much everything. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. And of course, I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same scan tool for your vehicle as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.